What is up guys? Welcome back to Driven by Madness and today I'm gonna prepare my RX-8 for the second track day where we're gonna see if all the cooling mods that I've done to it will be worth the while but most importantly worth the money. One of the most important goals for this track day is me getting a grip of my RX-8 and by doing so I'm gonna record myself as I'm driving and also you guys can give me some feedback once the video is on. And speaking about video, I'm gonna show you guys how to mount a GoPro on the side of the helmet and also one under the steering wheel so you get a perfect footage of your feet and pedals. So you get the full picture of the experience and you can judge my hands and legs, see the mistakes and how I can improve them. To start preparations, I decided to look back at my first track day to find out what was causing me the most issues. And by far the most problematic thing at my first track day was the unbelievable understeer in the front. My front tires had less grip than my rear tires, which is the opposite of what you want when drifting. So to address this issue, I replaced my front tires with some sticky semi-slicks, more precisely the Federal RSR 595. These tires should give me the grip that I need when going into corners so that the front bites down and the rear end gets loose. And the next step is under the bonnet. So the car in general has been serviced in the past month or so, so the only thing to do here is to fill up my sewn oil reservoir and the window washing fluid. And there we go. Window fluid has been topped up. Put in the funnel. Every time I fill up my sewn adapter, I use a different two-stroke coil. The previous one was from Shell, the one for go-karts. So this time I'm using Shell Advance Ultra for motorcycles. So let's crank up, crank open the oil. Has a nice smell to it and let's start pouring it in. The difference from the previous oil is that this one is relatively transparent. I don't know if you can see it from the camera but it looks like I'm pouring in water. What do you know, maybe it is water. Maybe no one ever tried to put water. Maybe it's the best lubricant for the engine. If you never try, you'll never know. And done. This is it, my reservoir is full. And there we go. As far as lubrication is concerned, we are good to go. The next challenge is to fit these tires and this seat on the back seats of my RX-8. I don't know if this will be possible, but I'm sure as hell gonna find out. And I'm gonna start by sliding the seat forward and putting this down. Put in the seat. And here we go. Fits like a glove. There we go, and I still have room for a very, very small passenger. <laughs> All right, so over here I'm gonna put this piece of cardboard to cushion the seats from the rims. Also my old working suit. And now to start packing the tires. This is one. This is the other one. Oh, just it's getting heavy. Forward, there we go. And tires are in. I'm going to put my seat back. Okay. Tires ain't going nowhere. So this part is packed. I'm left with one more tire. As always, one tire goes in the back. Too bad they didn't design this to fit two tires. It's been amazing. Introduce any amount of scratches on my seat. I'm gonna use this thick towel, put it on my seat. There we go, so that it doesn't scratch it. And in you go. Okay, so four tires are in, my bucket seat is in. Still gotta put in the tools, but I say that the car is ready to hit the track. All right, so now I'm gonna prepare the GoPro setup that's gonna film my feet. So to set it up, all you need is some degreaser to degrease the plastic where it will be mounted. Next, a sticker on which you're gonna attach this GoPro mount, which should be included in every package of a sports camera that you buy. And of course, there's a sports camera that's gonna film everything. It has a wide angle, all right, so to start the install, if you go under the steering wheel, you can see that I took apart and removed the central plastic cover over here, which you basically just pull down and pull out, so that you gain space here in the middle. 
and you have a nice field of view of your pedals. Alright, so with the GoPro now positioned slightly on the left of the hole above it, we can see that we have a perfect picture of all three pedals and also the resting plate. So I say that this is the perfect position to mount it. Alright, so now we gotta take this piece, remove the GoPro from it, and we're gonna spray this part over here to get all the greases out of it. So, spray the part, and then take a microfiber towel and wipe all the solvent away, all the degreaser away, just like that. And there we go, now we are ready to attach the 3M tape on this plastic. Alright, so now it's time to peel this away and then carefully position this plastic on this tape, which should be very easy and done. Once it's on, you want to press it real good so that the plastic sticks to it as good as possible and just keep it pressed for a couple of seconds. And this part is ready to get installed. So now next up we're gonna spray the spot where we're gonna mount the GoPro and then take our microfiber towel and wipe that spot nice and dry. Alright, so what is left to do now is to peel off this protective tape on this side also. So I'm gonna go under the steering wheel and mount it exactly here. And there we go. And we're just gonna press it a little bit so that it holds on the plastic. And there we go. So I think now everything is firmly attached and we can finally mount the GoPro and see the footage. So as we can see, I can clearly reach all three pedals and it's clearly visible on the GoPro. Also, it doesn't interfere with my legs since it's, here, since it's here in the middle. So I say this position is perfect and this install was a success. All right, so to install a GoPro on your helmet, here are all the things that you're gonna need. So we have the main bracket, which has a slight curvature on it, which is perfect for the helmet. And on it, we're gonna mount this, which is basically a clip which you just slide in like this so that when you finish the track day you can also take it out like so and obviously you're gonna need this screw to screw this together next we're gonna need two of these mounts like this so this is one direction and then it switches to the other direction you're gonna need two pieces of these and also two screws the 3m tape and obviously your gopro to attach the tape we're gonna use the same degreaser as we did before all right, so we're gonna take this main bracket and slide this piece on it, just like this. So next we're gonna take this other mount, we're gonna put it like this, make sure the silver screw is in the front, and then we're gonna secure it at the bottom, like so. Next, you take the other mount, you slide it in, secure it with a screw so that it's on the back side, this is the back side of the helmet, like this, and now more or less the bracket is done. All we have to do now is install the GoPro on this last upper bracket, screw in the screw, and more or less this is how the GoPro will look on the helmet. We're gonna install it on the right side of the helmet since that is where I have the shifter, so I think that this setup right here should be perfect. Alright, so now we're gonna take our GoPro with the bracket and we're gonna test fit it on my helmet and we're gonna get it as close to eye level as possible. So this is a relatively flat surface where I mounted it and it goes perfect with the curvature of the helmet. So this should be more or less eye level, like this. So now I'm gonna put my helmet on with the GoPro positioned like this and holding it with my hand and I'm gonna see how the footage looks from inside my car. All right, so after reviewing the footage, I discovered that it is good, but this part here is a little bit too long. So I'm just basically gonna use the same part, only a shorter version. All right, so all we have to do now is release the mount from the bracket like this. For this install, I decided to try two brackets. One will be installed over here and another one over here just so I can play a little bit with perspectives and different viewing angles. But you can install just one, which is this one over here where it matters. So as always, to start, we're gonna clean up the brackets with our degreaser so that the surface is nice and not slippery. 
Now we gotta take our double sided 3M tape, peel off one part of it, like so. Take our mounting bracket and then we're gonna position it on this 3M tape so that it's nice and centered, like so. And we're just gonna press it so it really grabs it. All right, now this part is done, now we're gonna work on the helmet. So next we're gonna spray the parts where we're gonna mount the brackets, which is this one over here, and we're gonna degrease the surface. Just like that. All right, so now with the surface degreased, I can peel off this tape and install it on the helmet, like this. Just get the perfect angle, and here we go. And it's on. And now all you gotta do is press real hard so that it sticks to that surface and doesn't let go. And there we go. So now both mounting brackets are safely and securely mounted on my helmet. So all there is left to do now is to take the GoPro mount and simply slide it inside until it clicks in place. And here we go. My helmet is now ready to hit the track. And this is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new, especially with the GoPro mounting. And I'll keep you guys updated next week as I hit the track to let you know how it's going and so on. So hit the subscribe button if you're new here and you don't want to miss next week's second drift track day with my RX-8.